This video will show you to create a JDBC connection. Java Database Connectivity or JDBC is a Java API that enables Java programs to execute SQL statements and to interact with any SQL compliant database. You can use JDBC connectors to connect to databases such as MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and so on. To create a JDBC connection, select a connection type. In this case it is going to be a JDBC generic cloud adapter. Specify connection properties, for example name, description, and other connection parameters. Save and publish the connection. Let's get started. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click login. And select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named JDBC. Click New and Connections and click Create. In the Connection Edit window, we have entered the connection name as JDBC and JDBC Generic Cloud Adapter as the type of connection. We are going to connect to MySQL database, hence, we will run this on the agent that has access to MySQL database. Next, in the Connection Properties section, enter the JDBC connection URL. Note that we are using the MySQL database, hence the connection URL defines it, as shown here. This URL uses localhost as the host name. This is because the MySQL server is running on the same host as the agent. Enter the JDBC jar directory. JDBC jar directory is the place where we would place the JDBC client library for the database we are connecting to. In this case, it is MySQL JDBC client. Enter the username and password. Click save to save the connection. Click test to test the connection. The connection test has passed. Publish the connection. Click the Metadata tab. Let's look at the objects, which in this case is tables available in the schema, that we referred to, in the connection. This schema has one table, hence we see only one table entry here. To see the table structure, click the Expand icon. Here you can see the columns of the table and their type, along with data preview. In the MySQL Workbench, you will see the data in this table. This concludes the video on creating a JDBC connection. In this video, you learn to describe JDBC connectivity and create a JDBC connection.